so I screwed up. I, I anchored in the weeds and we drug into shore last night. There was no damage. The, the boat's fine. Uh, but we were about 15, 20 feet from actually hitting the rocks on the shore. Um, my friend uh, Chris came over, we put out a second anchor, uh, my spare anchor, and it held. And then this morning, I tried to sail off, uh, and it worked, but we didn't get the second anchor up. So the, as we were moving forward, I figured we could just pull it up, but that didn't happen, and uh, we ended up grounding out again, but in a different spot. So then my buddy towed me out. Here's an avionics picture of, of where we were. I didn't actually get any footage because I was too busy trying to save the boat. This shows the path of where we dragged, but it doesn't actually show uh, how close we were to shore. So here's a Google Earth um, zoom in of uh, how close we were to shore. And then I'll put a pin in it and show you. So over to Gannock Way and then down to Beau Rivage. And right in this little bay, we came in and anchored right there. And we drugged ashore right about there. So uh, a few things I learned. Uh, get a better anchor. I have this uh, Delta style uh, plow anchor. It's it's actually a ripoff, like a knockoff, um, and it it held well, like it held in that storm. But it does not hold well in weeds. So um, next year on our list is to get ourselves a a Rockna or a mantis or a ultra anchor what a modern a modern anchor because yeah, that's that this is just ridiculous and second make sure the, the batteries are charged uh, we went to use our motor and it just conked out on us uh, you know we've been using a lot of energy and uh, when i when i put the uh the voltmeter on on the batteries it shows you know 120 volts and, uh, and that was seemed to be enough but then yesterday i was dicking around with uh, adding a new battery to the system to give the inverter more kick so it could run a coffee maker and that drained the system completely and because the battery was dead that, that battery was dead and uh, we weren't fully charged when the storm hit and that was a mistake too Live and learn! Live and learn! So the only two people last night in the anchorage that didn't drag was this guy here and my buddy Chris. There's my buddy's boat. Uh, that is a Hunter 40 Legend. It's a very nice boat. <coughs> Check this out. This is what happens when douchebag friggin' boaters come speeding by their damn ass multi million dollar power boats. Giant ass wigs, complete douchebags. My calm is interrupted. Uh, I'm sure there'll be more. 
came out here to shave. It's time to shave. And uh, there's a cool boat in the anchorage. It's a, uh, looks like a, an East Coast fishing trawler. Take a look. Isn't that the neatest thing? It's more comfortable, but I don't like it. I like it better with a beard. It makes me look better. It hides my face. So this is something I've seen uh, a bunch now that I've I've never seen anyone do before. It's all these power boats, and they always raft together. And like my first night here, there was like seven or eight of them, big ones, all rafted together. And of course, they play their music loud all night and then party and whatever. But as long as they're having fun, I guess. But uh, yeah, I just, I've never seen that before. Looks like this catamaran is leaving, um, which I'm personally happy for. They they came in and anchored right behind me, and I had a lot of road out because I was, uh, I was paranoid because I, you know, <laughs> I, I dragged and uh, ended up on the shore uh, a few nights ago. So it's good they're leaving. Just gives me a little bit more room to swing. Um, I had to tighten up my road anyway because there was a bunch of power boats that were rafted up behind me last night. They didn't take into account the, the swing of uh, my boat, so they just kind of parked wherever they felt like. And, um, and yeah, so I almost, well, I wouldn't say I almost, I, I just felt uncomfortable in how close I was to them. So I was probably about... 25 feet to them so anyway it's a, it's a beautiful day a little cloudy it rained a bit but all's good in the world right now Today, Mr. Pan. I'm uh, taking down this awning that was hastily made and I'm going to put up this uh, this, this beige thing Meh. and I'll show you how I'm doing that. I have them all zip tied up here as well so I have to cut them off. You think I can find my scissors? I just had them. Yeah. Hey, I found them. They're on the blue thing. The blue scissors are on the blue thing. The problems with this, um, the old awning, is that if you look, the boom, like, rests on it here, and, and it's way up here, and the boom isn't actually straight, and um, I'm not sure if it's... I mean, I tried putting it on backwards, and it doesn't really make a difference, so... I don't know. That's, the, that's probably what the problem is. It's probably on backwards, but it doesn't seem to be... You know what? It's on backwards. But it doesn't matter. We're going with the other way. So we'll, uh, we'll do that. Okay, so I took the front ones off, and I got the back. The boom is still not straight or horizontal I'm gonna cut a few inches off uh, the back piece and uh, see how that goes so I cut this much off of each side and lowered it down that's it. 
my uh, boom is as straight as it's going to be. Uh, it's going to give me a lot better sail shape. So that's cool. So now I'll work on the rest of it. Someone just stopped by in their boat and just had to tell me how beautiful my boat was. Mall smiles. Apparently he, uh, he and some buddies in university chartered a Hughes 40 North Star catch in the Virgin Islands when he was in his well, when he was in university. I think I already said that. Anyway, back to work. Oh, the anchorage is full. I have to put this connecting piece on the mast. It won't fit that way, so I'll have to fit it this way. Drill some holes and uh, tap, uh, tap in the, uh, the bolts. My, uh, my drill died and I can't find my um, my charger for the batteries so I'll just put two in here for now that that'll be enough for the purpose and I'll take this out later and I'll put something to in between them maybe some uh, nail polish or something to stop the galvanic corrosion between dissimilar metals because this is aluminum and this is stainless steel and this is bronze I'll figure it out later so this is a temporary thing. As you can tell by the sky, it's a different day. I had to run into Ken Knockway uh, to get some stainless steel bolts to put that on. And today I'm going to put the rest of it up. And that's what I ended up with. I thought the panel would be bigger and cover the entire area. And then I could um, connect it to the railings. But the panel's not as big as I thought it was, so that turned out like shit. However, gives us a little bit more shade. But just a simple boom tent would have done the same thing. Meh. That's crappy. Okay, so I didn't get much done. I got that stupid awning up that doesn't fit. And one last job. I installed a reverse osmosis system. It's not a water maker. Basically, it just cleans the water in our tank so it's drinkable. So we installed this new tap uh, that goes directly to that. So if we want uh, clean water, we have to turn the valve on. <laughs> sets off the pump and we have to let it run for a little bit and then we got to turn it off Okay, a couple of problems with this system. Um, one, it takes forever to fill. Uh, our water pump is a one gallon water pump because our old water pump uh, bit the dust. So I had to install like a backup of a backup um, water pump. Because <sighs> I didn't have the uh, jet flow connections for our backup. So. That right there is the bilge pump going off, and that's because a lot of the water, you know, goes into the bilge. Um, I don't think I would suggest installing one of these. Maybe, yeah, probably not. I don't know if it's worth it yet. I'll, I'll let you know later. So I guess that's it. Um... 
I did a few projects that didn't really amount to much and we drug around the entire anchorage scaring off all the boaters and now it's full of sailboats so I guess I did my job um, yeah I'm gonna go for a swim I smell like a Yeti's undergarments so see you later